Welcome back. You ever hear of Taylor Swift? Here's a class in Harvard that they made about her, where they idolize her. Let's check it out. I'm really delighted, along with our great teaching team, to be teaching the Taylor Swift and Her World course. It's my favorite large class that I've ever taught. I would not have considered teaching it if I did not love the music of Taylor Swift and consider her a major songwriter. But I also wouldn't be doing it if it were nothing but Taylor. Ah, <sighs> celebrity worship. Doesn't it make you just puke in your fucking mouth? Oh my God. Because Taylor Swift is the pinnacle of, of music writing. Now I'm lying on the cold hard ground. She writes a bunch of the same songs about her ex with a lot of weird ass rhymes and shit where she's built such an intense brand around her name that there's an actual cult. No! You don't like Taylor Swift because she's good. You like her because like everyone else likes her and she's incredibly well known. Like that has more of an effect on people's reception to, the, to, to people who are rich and famous. That's it. Has nothing to do with substance. But hey, you don't need substance to get people to like you. You just need to get people to like you, however that is. Oh my God. God damn. Fuck. Doing it if it were nothing but Taylor. She's far from the first or the only writer who has written Looking back at her younger self. It very much is an English course. We are thinking about the same kinds of things that you think about probably in any course about American literature. Taylor is just a new point of intervention. That is a central trope of the literary movement which generates tortured poets, which we call romanticism. You or maybe it's just a ploy to get people to give you more money. Remember, this is Harvard. Harvard, the, the, the fucking college school that everyone's jerking about, it takes the highest amount of uh, effort to get into, quote unquote, which it's not true, it's just nepotism. It's about the credentials that you acquire from, from getting into these things that matter more than the actual education itself. Oh, so, okay, that's probably, yes, if you were to come at it through a business point, because the point is to siphon money from people, is to, get, is to shill them. Yeah, just use shit that you think people would like so that you, they'd apply to your classes so that you can siphon their money from them. All right, a good business plan, I guess. But what does that say about <laughs> business? It's just about making money, right? It's not about the actual quality of what you afford people. It's just getting them to give you their money. And it's crazy. It's like, why make a class centered around a specific person? Why not just, all right, musical artists. Let's just talk about all sorts of stuff made by all sorts of people. Let's, I found this song by this one artist that I feel like could, could be really good for the regimen. I found this other song by this other artist that could get us to talk about something. But no, specifically Taylor Swift in this particular case. We'll get to more information in a little bit. Let's just get through this garbage. You can make connections between what Taylor is doing in, for example, Shake It Off or Ready For It and what Alexander Pope is doing as an early 18th century poet. We have been... Yeah, because those are the same. Back then when people were a little bit... Uh... Granted, I can't just go back and say that those stories were better, but you'd think that those stories would be more inclined to be better because those people didn't really have much else to do in their lives, right? Other than just to make shit in the boring-ass shit fuck 1800s. That is akin to, the player's gonna hate, 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 baby. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Dude, we should make a fucking class around that. God damn. have been tackling Taylor by era and bringing in references from other authors who use the same kinds of ideas that she does. I'm particularly looking forward to studying Wordsworth while we're doing folklore because Wordsworth was such an influence on that album. We've got two lectures a week and there are discussion sections where they're in a small room with a teaching assistant talking about what they've heard and what they've thought and just sharing their ideas. My goal as a TF is to get students to understand that music isn't a neutral space. It's a, something that happens intentionally, and the way that we respond to it, the way that we listen to it, the way that it's written, says so much about us as a society and about the things that we value. Oh yeah. Humans are fucking monkeys that are can be conditioned into doing whatever the hell that the other monkeys that condition them to do whatever it is that those monkeys want those other monkeys to do in order to benefit those monkeys who've conditioned those other monkeys into doing those things for them. Dude, celebrity worship, oh my god. This is like, it's an actual god to this, like, a lot of celebrities are. 
actual gods to these fucking people, man. Now, it's not just specific to Taylor Swift, dude. There's all sorts of other classes. Here's this, 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 uh, people fucking article I came across. Stars with their own college courses. You got Lana Del Rey. You have two Taylor Swift courses. You have Harry Styles and the Cult of Celebrity. Identity, the internet, of European pop culture. Ah, a little bit of an ironic title there. Politicizing Beyonce, Sociology of Hip Hop, Jay-Z, Miley Cyrus, Bruce Springsteen, Sean Combs, Lady Gaga, Kanye versus everybody. You ain't got the answers, Harvard! The thing about the red hat that drove me to a point of exhaustion, which was misdiagnosed by a, I'm not gonna say what race, what people, uh, doctor, you ain't got the answer. Gandhi? Jesus? Hitler? Michael Jackson? Editing James Franco with James Franco. Because the artist slash artist slash author slash director slash selfie or apparently didn't have enough on his plate, Franco joined forces with Columbia College Hollywood to create a class taught by his editor, Tyler Donna. The actor even Skyped in regularly. Money, baby. Wow, James Franco? Can you teach us how to assault women? I gotta, I feel like that's a very valuable lesson you can learn from. <laughs> it's insane, man. Like, come on. There's so many. Shake it up. Classes on celebrities like Taylor Swift are engaging a new generation of law students. Dude, what's next? A class on Bill Cosby for bartending students? Why are we doing this? Just stop fucking worshipping these people. They, they don't matter. Nothing matters. Oh my god. It's just people trying to make things seem as if they do matter. Oh my god. Goodness, holy shit. Now I say, going back to the beginning, right? How it's sort of a Western culture thing, right? At least this extent of idolization, right? You have worship everywhere, but the certain types of people in which they, they, they worship, it's like, it really depends. That is exaggerated in a certain place here or there, and the West kind of like goes fucking full throttle on that bullshit, man. Like, honestly. Now it's not just America, according to Google AI, or this fucking shit, actually that same article I just went on, Apparently America's not the only place. Earlier this year, we reported that a Belgian university was launching what is believed to be Europe's first Taylor Swift inspired literature course. Wow. France, for their part, embraced Beyonce with the prestigious and highly selective French school École Normale Supérieure. I'm, that's clearly not French. <laughs> Announcing last year that it was getting a student's information and organizing a series of irreplaceable seminars on Queen Bee. But those are Western countries. France and Belgium. Oh God, fuck. So when I typed in, is celebrity worship a Western cultural value? This is what popped up. Some say that celebrity worship is a Western cultural value while others believe it's one of the worst parts of Western culture. Oh yes, those people would be right. It is one of the, because it reflects all of the disgusting, egotistical, self-absorbed, manic bullshit that like encapsulates goddamn Western culture, especially in a place like America. Celebrity culture in the United States began in the late 1800s when the wealthy sought publicity in magazines and society columns. The modern celebrity system began between 1895 and 1920 and Walter Winchell's gossip columns in the 1930s and 1940s helped shape modern celebrity culture. Some say that celebrities have become the new philosophers of modern society, influencing moral values and shaping the idea that fame and fortune are the ultimate values. Who do you think that benefits? <laughs> Getting people to believe that shit. Being able to... to, to Manipulate and morph people's ideas in these certain ways that just prop up these fucking like psychopaths. Oh my god. Others say that celebrity worship is one of the worst parts of West culture and that is often due to today's teenagers. I wouldn't say teenagers are the people to blame. It's whoever fucking believes in that shit, which is everywhere and all sorts of dem it transcends any demographic of people. Celebrity worship syndrome or celebrity obsession disorder is an addictive disorder where a person becomes overly involved in a celebrity's personal and personal life. Professional life. Research suggests that people who have insecure attachment styles or experience relationship difficulties may be more likely to engage in celebrity worship. Is that why Taylor Swift's cult is like almost exclusively women who are fucking insane? Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. There's so much wrong. There's so much wrong with humans. And Western culture is a very good example of the sheer degeneracy of humanity. All humans, like, everywhere you're going to find degeneracy. But, like, in a place where the culture has been monetized, where people swoop in here or there just so that they can make a buck at the expense of everyone else's ideas and values, it's like, God damn. Fuck this place.